Hello and good Wednesday, June 6, 2007. I'm Joanne and this is Rocket Boom. With barely more than 500 days until the 2008 US presidential election, we head to New Hampshire where Will and Rob of Political Lunch bring us their coverage of this week's Democratic and Republican presidential debates. Hello Rocket Boomers, we're here in Manchester, New Hampshire for the presidential primary debates. I'm Rob. I'm Will. And here are some special highlights from Political Lunch. Here in New Hampshire, the debates in the primary are a cherished part of the state tradition. Last night, we tracked down a couple of Democratic leaders who were decidedly unenthusiastic about the debate. The folks in New Hampshire are very independent in their thinking and are used to grilling candidates up close and impersonal. Here, it really works that you ask people who they've chosen, they say, I don't know, I've only met them three times. So this was uh, really exciting to have all the candidates here. Anyone who's a serious candidate of either party has always been permitted uh, to, to fully participate. And if you watch the clock and somebody at some point is going to add up the time, Senator Christopher Dodd was, was completely shut out, in my opinion, of this debate, and that's unfair. Many Many of the second and third tier candidates struggled to distinguish themselves last night. Senator Dodd felt slighted by the format, and Governor Richardson, whose campaign had almost no presence in the spin room, uh, seemed unfocused according to some post-debate reviews. Uh, but it was Congressman Dennis Kucinich who uh, still managed to stand out from the herd, uh, including this remark in uh, his conversation with Rob afterwards. Now when it comes to the national intelligence estimate on Iraq, that came up, and Clinton especially suggested that she had full understanding of what it all meant and um, do she, you feel that that's the case she or had not? full understanding and she was fully wrong now, what does that mean does that mean that because she was fully wrong on a war that resulted in the deaths of maybe a million Iraqis and resulted in the deaths of, uh, of so many of our soldiers does that qualify her to be president I mean it's a serious question that has to be raised but it was Joe Biden who was a new man last night he was downright fired up let's take a look I went over there, found out there was a genocide going on, came to your husband, I said, we must act. Now look, we acted. Not an American was killed. We saved hundreds of thousands of lives. By the time all these guys talk, 50,000 more people are going to be dead. So that's the story for the Democratic presidential debates here in New Hampshire. Be sure to stop by politicallunch.com later today for our coverage of the Republican debate. Till then, I'm Rob. I'm Will, reporting for Rocket Boom.